Um, this is now the five minute tarot for the 23rd of January 2017. And today's card, I'm going to deal with another card, and it happens to be the 10 of batons. It was upside down, it was reversed, right? But one way of dealing with a reverse card, instead of switching it to be upright, is start with the card upright, talk about what it might show or how it might answer the question, and then say but or on the other hand or something like that and and adjust what you've said to answer the question but it's like the awkwardness of it or whatever it happens to be so with this ten of batons we've got the fellow um if if we look at the picture we can say he's going to make it to the end of the road or he's going to make it to his destination but it's going to be a struggle because if you look at the way he's holding the batons i mean it does show awkwardness and maybe you need extra effort unnecessary extra effort just because of the way he's holding the batons and he, i mean it'd be easier to put them over your shoulder and walk and then you can see where you're going and you can carry the, the batons with you. But the way he's got, he may be not sure if there's going to be an obstacle in the way because he can't see. Um, or maybe he's going to be tired out or more tired than he needs, needs to be before he reaches it. And maybe he's going to have to take a rest, right? Because of the way he's, he's holding the baton. So if he's... If we take this one and we say, uh, depending on what the question is, you're going to have to stop briefly at least and take a rest and regain your strength or whatever. Um, but that's because of the way you're holding the batons or because of the way you're, you've, you're organising yourself. So it may be that with the ten of batons reversed, there's a problem with organisation. Maybe you started out with a vague general idea of the direction in which you wanted to go or what kind of outcome you were looking for, but it's too vague. So maybe because, because 10 is 1 plus nothing, it's the end of a cycle. And the fact that it's upside down, maybe we would say that um, you think you're needing the end, but you're not really. And this can be because you didn't organize yourself well enough at the beginning of the process, right? So let's say it's about what's going to happen in a marriage and you get the ten of batons reversed. And it's a bit like, think back to when you actually got married or when you said yes or when you agreed to get married. And maybe at that time you were young and in love and you were blinded to the reality of the situation. Or maybe you thought, as some people do, that you, you know, the the person you're going to marry has certain bad habits, but you're going to change them, because that that that's a common idea that people have that marriage will change the person. So even though I don't like what they do, they're going to be better. They're going to be different once they get married, and usually it doesn't happen that way. So that that can be one example of the ten of batons reversed, where you went into the situation disorganized at the beginning, or not having a clear picture of the direction which you wanted to go, or overestimating what it would take to get to the situ to the the final outcome. And I'm saying overestimating because the card is reversed. If the ten of batons are upright, then you would you okay. It's a bit of a struggle, but at least you weren't. Um, uh, uh, you, you, you estimated quite well what the effort would be. Um, so maybe if we're looking for advice from the card, maybe it's stop for the moment and reorganize the burden, reorganize the work or the project or whatever it happens to be. And then when you pick up and start moving again, it's going to be an awful lot easier because you've taken some time to get things properly sorted. Uh, okay, that's it. Tomorrow, another card. Okay, bye-bye.